Your liver is one of the most important organs in your body. It is responsible for filtering toxins, producing bile, regulating blood sugar, and more. But sometimes your liver can get overloaded with fat, which can lead to serious health problems. This condition is called fatty liver disease and affects up to 25% of adults worldwide. Fatty liver disease can be caused by many factors, such as obesity, diabetes, alcohol abuse, or certain medications. It can also be a symptom of other diseases, such as hepatitis or cancer. If left untreated, fatty liver disease can progress to inflammation, scarring, and even liver failure. But how do you know if you have fatty liver disease? What are the signs and symptoms that you should look out for? In this video, we will reveal 10 silent early signs of fatty liver disease that you should never ignore, and at the end, we will share with you some important lifestyle changes you have to do to reverse fatty liver disease and remove fat from your liver. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Abdominal Pain or Discomfort one of the most common signs of fatty liver disease is a dull or aching pain in the upper right part of your abdomen, where your liver is located. This pain may be worse after eating fatty or spicy foods or after drinking alcohol. So, why does this pain happen? Well, when your liver gets inflamed, it can swell up and press against other organs and nerves in your abdomen. This can cause pain that may range from mild to severe. Sometimes, if the liver presses on the phrenic nerve, the pain can spread to other parts of your body, like your back or shoulders. Number 2. Fatigue and Weakness Fatigue is a feeling of extreme tiredness or exhaustion that does not go away with rest. This happens because your liver plays a key role in regulating your blood glucose levels by storing excess glucose as glycogen and releasing it when needed. When your liver is fatty, it cannot store or release glucose efficiently, resulting in low blood sugar or high blood sugar. Both conditions can cause fatigue, as well as headaches, dizziness, irritability, and mood swings. Number 3. Belly Swelling and Bloating Fatty liver disease can damage your liver so much that it can't filter your blood properly, leading to high pressure in the portal vein that delivers blood to your liver. This high pressure, called portal hypertension, forces fluid to leak out of your veins into your belly and collect there, causing a condition called ascites. Ascites can cause pain, discomfort, bloating, and difficulty breathing. Number 4. Dark Urine or Pale Stools The color of your urine and stools can indicate how well your liver is functioning. Normally, your urine should be clear or light yellow, and your stools should be brown or greenish, but if you have fatty liver disease, your urine may become dark or brownish, and your stools may become pale or clay-colored. This is because your liver is responsible for producing bile, which is a greenish-yellow fluid that helps digest fats and eliminate waste products from your body. Bile is stored in your gallbladder and released into your small intestine when you eat. But when you have a fatty liver, it may not produce enough bile or it may not release it properly. So, when bile is reabsorbed into your bloodstream, it can make your blood more concentrated and increase the level of a waste product called bilirubin. Bilirubin is normally filtered out by your kidneys and excreted in your urine. However, when there is too much bilirubin in your blood, it can make your urine darker than normal. On the other hand, when bile is not released into your small intestine normally, it can reduce the amount of pavement in your stool. This can make your stool lighter or paler than normal. Number 5. Jaundice. Jaundice is a yellowing of your skin and eyes, caused by a buildup of bilirubin in your blood. So, what is bilirubin? Well, bilirubin is a waste product that is normally filtered by your liver and excreted out of the body. But if your liver is damaged by fatty liver disease, it may not be able to process bilirubin properly. This can cause bilirubin to build up in your blood and make your skin and eyes yellow. Jaundice can also be a sign of other liver diseases, such as hepatitis or cirrhosis. Number 6. Swelling in your legs. Swelling in your legs can be a sign of fluid retention, which can occur when your liver is not able to produce enough albumin. Albumin is a protein that helps maintain the balance of fluid in your blood vessels and tissues. If you have low albumin levels, fluid can leak out of your blood vessels and cause swelling, also known as edema. 
Swelling can also be a sign of heart failure or kidney disease, so it's very important to get checked by your doctor. Number 7. Itching. Itching is another sign of high bilirubin levels in your blood, which can irritate your skin and cause inflammation. Itching can also be caused by dry skin, allergies, or infections, so it's not a definitive sign of fatty liver disease. However, if you have itching along with other symptoms of fatty liver disease, you should see your doctor for a diagnosis. Number 8. Bruising or bleeding easily. Your liver also plays an important role in producing clotting factors, which help stop bleeding when you get injured. However, if you have fatty liver disease, your liver may not produce enough clotting factors, which can make you bruise or bleed easily. You may notice that you bruise more easily than before, or that you bleed longer after a cut or a nosebleed. Number 9. Weight loss or loss of appetite. You may think that losing weight is good, but that is not the case if it is caused by a disease. If you lose weight rapidly or without trying, it may mean that your liver is damaged and cannot process nutrients from food. You may also lose your appetite or feel nauseous when you eat, which can lead to malnutrition and further weight loss. Number 10. Spider veins. Spider veins are small, red, or purple blood vessels that appear on your skin, especially on your face, chest, or abdomen. They are caused by increased pressure in your veins, which can occur when your liver is not able to filter blood properly. Spider veins can also be a sign of portal hypertension, which is high blood pressure in the vein that carries blood from your digestive organs to your liver. Portal hypertension can lead to serious complications, such as bleeding in your esophagus or stomach. So, these are some of the signs of fatty liver disease that you should never ignore. If you have any of these symptoms, or if you have risk factors for fatty liver disease, such as obesity, diabetes, alcohol abuse, or high cholesterol, you should see your doctor for a liver function test. A liver function test measures the levels of enzymes and proteins in your blood that indicate how well your liver is working. The good news here is that fatty liver disease can be reversed if you catch it early and make some lifestyle changes. So, here are some of the things you can do to prevent or treat fatty liver disease. Number 1. Follow a Mediterranean-style diet. This means eating more fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, olive oil, and legumes, and less red meat, poultry, cheese, yogurt, and baked goods. The foods in this diet are rich in antioxidants, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates that can help your body use insulin better and prevent fat buildup in your liver. Several studies have shown that this type of diet can reduce liver fat and inflammation. Number 2. Cut down on alcohol and sugar. Alcohol and sugar are two of the worst enemies of your liver. They can overload your liver with toxins and calories, making it harder for it to break down nutrients and eliminate waste. Alcohol can also damage your liver cells directly, leading to scarring and cirrhosis. Sugar can spike your blood glucose levels and increase your insulin resistance, which means more fat storage in your liver. Number 3. Drink more coffee and green tea. These beverages are not only delicious, but also good for your liver. Coffee and green tea contain antioxidants that can protect your liver cells from oxidative stress and inflammation. They can also boost your metabolism and help you burn more calories. Some studies have found that drinking coffee or green tea regularly can lower your risk of developing fatty liver disease or slow down its progression. Aim for 3 to 4 cups a day, but avoid adding too much cream or sugar. Number 4. Take some supplements. There are some natural supplements that may help you reverse fatty liver disease by supporting your liver function and reducing inflammation. Some of them are Number 1. Omega-3 fatty acids. They help lower triglycerides and inflammation in your liver and improve insulin sensitivity. Number 2. Vitamin E. This vitamin is a powerful antioxidant that can protect your liver cells from damage and improve insulin sensitivity. It can also reduce liver fat and inflammation in people with fatty liver disease. Number 3. Inacetylcysteine, NAC. It helps replenish glutathione, which is a vital antioxidant that protects your liver from toxins and oxidative stress. These were some tips that can help reverse or prevent fatty liver disease according to studies. Remember, your liver is an amazing organ that can heal itself if you give it the right care.
So don't give up on it and take action today. Now, we want to hear from you. Did you have some of these signs before? Was it actually liver disease? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.